Hi everyone, welcome to VictoriaPacking.com and today I'm going to show you how to make this old-fashioned recipe and this is how to cook beef tongue this is prevalent to a lot of cultures to eat uh, inner uh, pieces of the meat and it's absolutely amazing if you have never tried the tongue you must it's the best of the most tender piece of meat that you will ever try so i hope you will give it a go and stay tuned to watch how to make this let's start with tongue i have here as you see organic beef tongue and it's pretty amazing it's frozen i buy it frozen and you can ask your butcher if they have it and it's usually pretty cheap cut so it's very nice for organic uh, meat organic good quality meat and it's whole meat so it's very nice, it's boneless and it's very cost effective and it's really good. Then add a couple of bay leaves. Oh, it smells so fresh and good. Cloves. About three cloves will go there. Four cloves, okay. Four cloves. Or something around there. Salt, very important, like absolutely, you have no idea how important it is. And it's two teaspoons Himalayan pink salt. Black pepper, if you have uh, peppercorns, whole peppercorns, uh, use about half a teaspoon of whole peppercorns. They bring a lot of flavor. Cover it with water. Now, again, here you can add more spices or less spices. There are people that add vegetables to it, but I don't feel any big difference in the quality of meat of tongue. Now, I'm going to add more water, cover it with water completely. Pop the lid on, on high for at least 4 to 5 hours or until it fork tender. And when you insert the knife inside and it's go out easily and in easily, that's it, it's done. Take it out and uh, as you see it's very fork tender and let it cool until it's manageable, At otherwise it's very 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 hot. Then peel it, the uh, outer layer, as, as you see it's pretty easy to peel it after so many hours of cooking. By the way, if you use a fresh tongue, uh, start trying it after three, three and a half hours because it will be done in less time than the frozen one. Then get rid from the fatty parts and then slice it. After you peel and cut it, serve it as it is. As you see with lemon wedges, I love it, and with horseradish or mayo, or mix a little bit mayo and horseradish. So it's very important on top somewhere, here. And that's it, serve it and enjoy, it's absolutely wonderful. By the way, it's amazing for, for the next day as a lunch meat inside your sandwiches and much healthier than any lunch meat that you will buy in regular super. Try it. Uh, yeah. A little bit of horseradish on top. A bit of lemon, you know. Squeeze. And now let's try it. Mm. It's most soft and amazing, falling apart, dedicated piece of meat that you have ever tried. I hope you really give it a go. And don't forget to subscribe, write me a comment, thumbs up me, and cheers, Victoria. Love you all. See you next time. Bye. Please support my channel by visiting my shops. The links are in description box below. You will find the recipes for Halloween, holidays and just for fun. We have kids books and game as well. Thank you for uh, supporting me and my channel. Love you all. See you next time. Bye!